Hello there, this is Beth, and this is Top 5 Art Supplies of 2017. So, um, God, this year, watercolor crazy. I can't remember. I don't re-watch my favorites, so I don't, I don't want to influence myself to be like, oh, I did that last year, I can't do it this year. Because pretty much by this time, next year, I forgot pretty much what I have, um, yeah, did for this year. Maybe last year by then. So the first one is oh um, yeah. <laughs> um, um watercolor. This is my Winsor Newton World's Dirtiest palette. I should do like a palette tour for black mass since I do a black mass. I picked up the Jane Davenport Bright my god very beautiful um i'm really 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 hoping she gets replacement stuff in because i can see myself going through the frida color really fast um this is the bright palette really gorgeous color but uh, i just have really fallen in love with watercolor especially not so much the Winsor newton i have been using that palette though these are very beautiful and luscious. I don't have anything else by. Do I? Do I? Hold on. Okay. I did swatch them. I haven't really... I know I've used them in something. I don't know where the heck I put it. Um, they're beautiful. They're transparent. They're luminous. I don't... They've definitely been worth the buy. Um... I got them at Michael's. I had coupon, and then I got another something for being, what is it, insider? I don't even remember what Michael's calls it. But, so it was really a good deal, because it's like, I think it's about $40, and I got it for around $16. So that was a really good buy on, I mean, you can't buy the freaking tin. The tin would be $16 without Jane Davenport's name on it. I bought um, several prangs. This year these are um, older sets that still have the old thing and they're also Yellowstone so they were regional. Um, highly suggest the prang. If you're looking for an inexpensive beautiful watercolor, the prang is a good way to go. It is transparent. It's luminous. It is absolutely freaking gorgeous. The colors are. I've used both my prangs a lot since I bought them. And this is a mixture of Core and Daniel Smith watercolors. Yeah, there's a couple others that are not that. Um, they're just little palette pans with um magnets on the bottom so they stay put. Where's that? It's not there. It's hiding. It's hiding. It's always hiding. Oh well. I swatched them out. Um, but oh my god, the Lunars of the Daniel Smith. Lunar, Lunar Love. I don't have two of the Lunars. I don't have Lunar. It's Lunar Earth and Lunar Rad. But I have all the other, I have Lunar Black, Lunar Violet, I have Lunar Blue, and the Lunars are really, really pretty in colors. They're very granulating too. Um, I find Daniel Smith to have some beautiful, beautiful granulation, whereas the core tend to be more, more less granulating and more just vibrant. Really just beautiful colors. So watercolor still accumulating more of them and really really falling in love with that aspect of the medium and working and exploring working with them this one's pretty much I think there's some white pen in the face and that's about it but otherwise that's all watercolor Okay, I have to pull up my cat out. 
Okay, cat has been refreed. So watercolor has been just a really big thing. And also using it more in mixed media aspect, not just proper watercolor. Um, these two kind of, well, I've got a pencil extender. I love this thing. Honorable mention of the pencil extender. Stabilo Allmarks. I have reached for this thing over and over. I have two more that I bought because I was afraid I would have this. And I've been using it this and it's so you're farther away. Um, I love this stuff. It's highly water reactive and it's pretty awesome. You need a little dark smudge. Whether you're spraying it, wiping it down, smudging it. Um, I have reached for my Stabilo Marks all over and over again. This and the um, Lyra water soluble graphite crayon have been two of the water soluble things. I've been using say like this or the water soluble graphite crayon to do un the under drawings more so than um, say a number two pencil. So Stabilo just there's so much you can do with it. You can spray it and it makes these and let it dry. You can control it more. You can use it for shading. Although it is very dark. Yeah, I remember it's black and it goes on really, really dark. So it can be like, ooh, at times. So I'll just see who's next. Fine liners. Oh my god, I've kind of fallen in love with the fine liner. I use it for this. What do I have currently in my fine liners? I have this is sepia. I have, this is burnt umber, just with water. Um, I mix this in here, and then I put a mixture of something. We'll talk about the mixture later. This is one of my favorite mixtures. It is a um, mixture of micaceous ox iron oxide from Golden and black acrylic ink, which I think is probably Liquitex still. But you can use whatever. It makes this kind of really dark, inky, sparkly stuff. It's really pretty. And this one's just a watercolor that I've been using to infuse some things. I'm, I think I want a couple more of these. Um, I've been using especially this one a lot in things. This one to the, the sepia. And this one more. They're also really good for mixing. And we'll just move in because this is part of the fine liner thing too with the sepia obsession. But you can draw really cool things with it. You can outline things, um, write, easily squeeze on color as if got the indigo watercolor there. Which kind of segues into the next thing which is sepia because I have sepia in this one. This is a mixture of the burnt umber and sepia, which just is beautiful if you need to warm something up. If your painting's too cool or you need a layer of warmth and that's the word I'm looking for, glow. And I tried just the burnt umber. I didn't care for it. But then I mixed it with a little bit of sepia, golden sepia that was in here and oh yeah, baby kittens. Yeah, that was what I just, oh, because the golden high flow, and it only comes in the high flow, and you could also find it in the watercolor. But so far, this is my favorite tone of sepia. This stuff is like magic in a bottle. It creates a freaking glow that, it's kind of like there's two things. If my painting is not making me happy, I either add this to it and wash or drip or just kind of lighten an area with it or add in fluorescent pink. Don't ask me why. One of these two things will work for you, if not both. Painting not looking good? Fluorescent pink, ta-da, better. Painting not looking good? Put on some golden sepia. And I have found that so far I don't have their... um. I do not have the core watercolor sepia, so I cannot speak to that yet. This sepia is the best sepia, in my opinion, because <laughs> it is so glowy. It just makes this glow that I love. 
working on. So this has kind of become the sepia of my heart because it's just the the um, Della Rani acrylic ink sepia does not do the same thing this one does. I don't know what they did to it to make it so beautiful and gold. All right, this is the color for me the Earth Star Chakra is, is golden sepia. Just because it has that golden luminosity and mm, mm, yumminess to it. So yeah, sepia, golden sepia is one of my favorite my favorite things for art supplies. Okay, so I got that fine liners. And, and then another Jane Davenport thing. Like I said, I hope, I really hope she comes out with replacements. Because I really love her mermaid markers, and I can pretty much tell you reef. Where is it? Jellyfish. I think it's where did it go. Did that one get put somewhere weird? Probably somewhere weird. Oh, there's jellyfish. Jellyfish. These three markers are gonna be gone. I mean, geez, jellyfish. I've used probably the most stuff, and then probably that one too. The beach one is. Which one can you use that beach? Yes. But um, Pirate Gold, Reef, and um, Jellyfish are going to be long gone. Wait, I still have the really dark purple. That's really dark. These are her Mermaid Markets, Jane Davenport's Mermaid Markers. They are really fun to work with. I've really enjoyed using them and have reached for them over and over and over again in a variety of manners. Straight on. Um, they do really beautiful stuff with that one go. Hey, Niji. Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. Let's see here. This one. There's the mermaid marker page. Mixed media, obviously. With the face that was using her markers. Um, there's, I think I did a flower. Was it in this one? Maybe, maybe not. Using, yeah, that's where to go. Come back here. Come back here. Okay, they just went there. There's the flowers. And then just some color blocking. This, this is Reef. I love that Reef color. That's Reef again there. And this one's Jellyfish. The coral one too is absolutely stunning. I find this one almost a little too much. You gotta be careful with them. They are intense colors. There's another one I used with her. Bird Heart. Theme. Um, just playing around. Very Trying to be very loose. Not so plenty working with um, one of these yeah. word loss, word loss. I don't know if there's anything, I don't think there is. What I do with that, okay, but yeah, um, oh, that's pretty, that's a watercolor page. Their watercolor page here. It's just like really my test book. Working on things and just playing around with concepts. It's just pretty colors. But yeah, but the, yeah, I think they're around forty dollars. I can't remember exactly. I bought these are like one of the first things I bought when her stuff came out this year with a coupon from Michaels. Um, they're really fun to work with. When they are done, you do have a really wonderful brush pen to use. I gotta say, the Aqua, these are really nice. She has done a super duper job at creating some high quality art supplies in high quality things. These are awesome. So if you don't, yeah, the thing is though, I really hope there's replacements because I don't know if I wanna buy a whole nother set to replace the three that I'm gonna use up first. So I'm hoping because Jane being an artist understands these things and I 
But you know, the quality of what she's putting out is really, really nice. She's not putting out junky stuff. So, but you know, it's like, like I said, Frida's gonna get used up real fast. I love Frida. Frida's like my favorite color in this palette. And it's kind of a, um, it's like this ready, purpley, just color of, this one's Frida. But yeah, so I can see myself running through Frida pretty fast compared to the other colors in the palette. And the other thing I'm kind of hoping maybe, because these are dry in the U.S., um, the dry watercolors in a little thing like this, like these are, they're not in the tube, they're not wet, tend to be associated with um, children's palettes, not like real artist palettes, even though we all just buy palettes and squeeze our tubes and, and dry out the watercolor. So I'm hoping we'll, to what'll happen, because like if you bought a schminky, oh baby, she's back, she left and she came back. If you don't buy schminky tubes, schminky tubes, however you say schminky, or whomever, if you buy like say the dry one like this, but you know, schminky not Jane, you can't get a pan replacement, you have to buy a tube. So I don't, so hopefully, I, what I'm kind of hoping too is that that will spark more of a revolution in the dry water colors like this and being more readily able to get replacements for them. Um, and same, you know, like I said, I hope she really, really comes out with replacement inks, replacement pencils and stuff like that because otherwise you have to keep buying sets and that's not very economical. That's my hope. She's a smart lady, so I think it'll happen. Just, it's also new. It's fun to play with new stuff. And I gotta say, if you do want to experiment with some fun new mixed media stuff, the Jane Davenport stuff, what I've had so far, I've been pretty impressed with. It's it's definitely quality, quality art supplies. Um, so, what were my top five? Watercolor. Watercolor in general, especially Corin Daniel Smith. Oh, and the prangs too. I gotta say, the prangs have been a really lovely revelation to it. Um, revelation to me just because they have a really beautiful quality to it. Um, the Stabilo Marks all. Also, close second up is the um, Lyra Watercolor, not Watercolor, Water Soluble Graphite Crayon. Uh, that's following a close heat. On, on the marks all. I started with the marks all and kind of started to alternate between those in the last couple of months. The fine liners, I find myself using them quite frequently, especially for drawing little things. I want a few more. I want one so I can put some white in it and use that for really, hi baby, fine lining white things if I want to do that. Um, I tend to put the high flows in and in inks. Some people feel that that's too gushy. I haven't really had a problem with it too much. Um, so the fine liner sepia, golden sepia specifically. I think last year sepia was on it, but it was just all sepia. This year is just golden. I have yet to find one that I love as much as this. And I'm gonna have to get their core. I have a um, Sennelier sepia in watercolor, and it's a beautiful brown but it's not this one. So I'm hoping the core golden sepia in the watercolor light has the same quality that their acrylic ones do. And golden, if you made this in fluid and heavy body, I would buy them, all of them. I love this color that much. And then the mermaid markers. These are really pretty, they're beautiful. They're flowy. It's a great quality water brush. And believe me, after my, oh, I had, do, do not buy this. What are they called? One thing I'm gonna get, I usually don't do like a hate. That was just my pen bag that fell. Trash fit. I am so not impressed with the trash fit. Um, I haven't had them a year and 
It was a set of six. And how many are left? Two. And half of them are gone. I've had them about a year now. Actually, no, it's probably a little over a year now. Half of them are gone. They all break right here. It's kind of been frustrating. Um, trash fit. Um, not worth it. Uh, Pentel so far has been my favorite. And they have lasted and held up. Um, I have a couple others I got from Art Snacks. But these, the Pentel ones, I have, I use them all the time. I use my aqua brushes quite a bit. And I'm finding the Pentel ones, Pentel hold up, whereas like Trasfit did not. So just a word of warning out there if you're out there, and because I remember them being a good deal um, for set six aqua brushes, but the first one was breaking right away. I, I didn't realize what it was doing. I just thought it was an overwatering aqua brush. So just say no to this brand. Go get some Pentel, spend a little bit more money. And part of the reason why I bought it, because I wanted some of the larger brushes and they were the first to go. So I will not be repurchasing them. Just tell you know, because it's a bummer when you get something and then it just immediately doesn't work. So that's the top five and one dislike. Alrighty, I have probably talked on for I don't know how long because this thing wanted out. So hi, Minnie. Here's me, little kitty. Alrighty, bye bye. Much love. See you around in the group. Oh, group. Oh, whatever. Too much things for the Heartlight group. See you around in just Christ.